Based off our last lesson, we have a stick figure that's put in a function that we can draw anywhere we specify. This lesson, we're going to figure out how to get that stick figure to draw where the mouse is. Taking a look at the program that we had from last time, we've got the function for the stick figure right here. And it will draw it on the screen at the x, y location that we specify. If we tell it to draw it at 0, 0, then stick figure will be drawn at 0, 0. Down here in our program, we actually draw the stick figure, and I'm telling it to draw the stick figure on the screen at location 0, 0. If I run the program, we can see that the stick figure has been drawn, and the 0, 0 location right up here in the corner specifies where that stick figure started to be drawn. Now the question is, how do we get the stick figure to draw where the mouse is? All I need to do is figure out where to draw the stick figure. And I'm going to, up here in game logic, put the command to grab the location, the XY location of the mouse. The command looks like this. I create a variable. I'm going to call the variable POS, short for position. Set it equal to pygame.mouse.get. POS, open close parentheses. As you know, a location is going to have both an X and a Y component, but I've just got one variable right here. And in fact, if I run this and I print out POS, I can see how that looks. I'm going to go ahead and save this and run it. When I run it, I would expect that as I move the mouse around down here in the console window at the bottom that the coordinates would print out. That's not actually what happens because once I hit the end, then the mouse coordinates print out. And if you take a look at the Python shell here, you can see the mouse coordinates, the X and Y of the mouse coordinates print out, although just not while the program is running. This is one of the few advantages of the Wing IDE in that it doesn't actually do the printing until the program is done. And in this case, just to do for this particular demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and open this up in the idle program so that you can see what's happening as it's working. So now I've got the program working, and you can see over in the lower left corner the coordinates. As I move the mouse around and move it up to the upper left corner, you can see I get down to near 0, 0. And if I move it down over here to the right, I get down near 500, 700 or so. And likewise, as I move the mouse around, you can see the coordinates change. As I move this, I'm getting an XY coordinate about 20 times per second, and it's printing out onto the screen. I can use those coordinates there in order to draw the guy and pass that into the function for the draw stick figure. So how do I get the X and Y out of that program? And it's really not too hard. All I need to do is x equals pos, and pos is an array, I can fetch out the zero location, and I can fetch out the one location. This is going to house x, and this is going to house the y location. Now that I've got, whoops, looks like I need to switch this to a y, right? Now that I've got the x and y, once I fix this one issue, I can draw the guy at that particular X and Y location. Okay, I've done that, and I'm going to go ahead and run this. And you can see the little guy follows the mouse around. There's a little bit of a delay since we're only doing 20 times per second. But you can see that works fairly well. The problem is the mouse pointer really covers the guy, and it's not quite as nice of a program as if that mouse pointer wasn't there. Thankfully, there is a way to fixing that. guess I don't need this print statement anymore. I'll get rid of that. The way to fix the mouse showing up on the program is to do the following command. Up here at the beginning, because we only need to do this once, we don't need to tell the computer to hide the mouse 20 times per second. It'll actually remember if we tell it just once at the beginning. And I'm going to do that with command pygame.mouse.set visible and I'm going to set it to zero. 
the zero means that the mouse is not going to be visible. If I set it to anything but zero, like one, then the mouse would be visible. So if I go ahead and run this now, I now have a guy that follows the mouse. The mouse doesn't appear on the screen, so I don't get a mouse pointer. I don't have that hovering over the guy, but I can control the guy with the mouse. So now I've got part of the interaction done in that I can now work with a mouse in my games and get it to move around some sort of character on the screen.